have not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw when I was running. Now, I also want to say that that seems to be more pronounced with the brothers. Guys, welcome back to the channel, guys. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, share this video. This is a defeated Barack Hussein Obama. Defeated, low T, low voice, no energy. And you see the black men around him, all low, the low T beta males around him as well. The Democrats are desperate as hell right now. They are desperate as hell trying to get that hope and change movement that Barack Hussein Obama did in 2008. And you just see Obama, she's not connected with the brothers. And I don't know why Barack Hussein Obama think he's the ambassador for black men like us, but she's not. He's a feminine ass, gay ass, sorry ass bitch. I don't know why he's even out here thinking he can speak for the brothers. They, oh, she's not connecting to the brothers. At all, of course not. Because real men like myself, black men like me, that leaving the Democrat plantation, see that she's a whore. See, she's not black. She's Indian American. Like that. She she have nothing and offers nothing to not just black men, men in period. And pit at all. Only thing she's here for is a fit feminine cat ladies that want to kill their babies and push in power on dominance on the men. Feminist movement. That's all the Democrats pushing for. Only thing the Democrat Party want, only man they want to do in the Democrat Party is gay, feminine, or bitch, or beta male. Any man that really about is worth and salt and want to do anything, they don't even want you at all. They think you're toxic anyway. They think you, oh, toxic masculinity. Oh, you like Trump. Oh, I know. I can't. You stand that man and stuff like that. And they are desperate as hell. Barack Hussein Obama is speaking today oh, at one of the press um, rallies and stuff. They're desperate as hell. They got Barack Hussein Obama speaking out. They're banging out Bill Clinton and stuff. They, oh, man, these guys are pulling everything, all the stops out. They're desperate as hell, guys. They are desperate. And we're going to show some more clips here. They're not only desperate, but it's also some scary reports. As some top House Democrats say, they may not certify the election if Trump's win. <gasps> Insurrection? <gasps> They're not going to certify the election? The, the, they, won't elect, they won't certify a fair election? Remember that was the issue that got us to 2020 in January 6th? Remember when Trump was fighting against or uh, questioning the election integrity in 2020? And you know, fighting against certified election? Now. Some House Democrats, what we get to the more desperation of the Democrat Party with a Barack Hussein Obama, AB thing like that. Let's go to what's going the the news is going on in DC right now. They know the gig up. They know it's up. Some top Democrats won't commit to certifying a Trump win. They will not commit. To certify a Trump win. And remember, Kamala Harris is the president of the Senate. She is the vice president. She is the vice president. They know they went against Mike Pence. They thought he wasn't or was not. He certified election results. If Trump win, will Kamala do the right thing and officially certify the official election for 2024? It's already some whispers going out. They know Trump is going to win. Oh, yes. And this piece of shit here, they show the first picture up. House Democrats rail against House Speaker Mike Johnson for hedging on whether a GOP-controlled House will certify Kamala Harris victory. But some of those senior members are playing a similar game. Well, hmm, why it matter? Those Democrats are trapped. Between their deep distrust of Donald Trump and the rhetoric, this going to up any election challenge in the years since January 6th attacks. 
Raspin, the, the House Oversight Committee ranking member and former January 6th committee member who objected to Trump electors in 2017, told Acrius in an interview that if Trump wins a free, fair, and honest collected election, then we would ob obviously yourself. Ask if he would assume a Trump victory will be free, fair, and honest. However, Raspin said, I definitely don't assume that. Argue Raspin, Democrats don't engage in election fraud and election fabrication. Ha ha ha, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, we already know. I guess let me see what else. We already know they, they do fair election. Between the lines, House Minority Leader Akeem Jeffries, who 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 weighs huge influence over the members, have signaled there is a little chance of an organized effort to decertify the electors. House Democrats are going to do everything necessary to ensure that the writers, the winner of the presidential election, is certified on January 6th without drama or conscripted. Jeffrey said at the September press. House Administra Administrative Committee ranking member Joe Morrell, Jeffrey's top deputy on election um, and administration issues have similar, similar statements. The two parties have very different histories when it comes to election objectives with Democrats large and doomed subotic ch challenges as part of the large, largely un uneventful proceedings. Yeah, like I said, these guys are already spitting that out slowly, slowly. Uh, we may or may not commit to certified election, blah, blah, blah. We don't know if Trump win. They're going to find every way possible to disqualify Trump. This is already sm smelling like a, some bullshit is up to play. They are up to no good, guys. They are really, really up to no good. And like I said, Trump win, man. It's going to be dirty games. It's going to be a lot of BS. Ooh, boy. It's going to be a lot. And like I said, they know the gig is up. They got Obama out. They know the gig is up. Another thing here, the honeymoon period for Kamala Harris is over. It's completely over. Remember, it's over. And the polls, I mean, the mainstream media know it. The people know it. Where will the 2024 election be decided? In short, everywhere. A new batch of polls came out this week with a little less than one month to go in the president's election. Kamala Harris' honey, honeymoon surge is now officially over. Donald Trump is on the rise. A new quarter poll of Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan this week shows him leading in the latter two. Real clear poli politics polling. Average now has him ahead for the first time in months in the state of Michigan, a state which spun Hillary Clinton in 2016, but flipped back to the Democrats in 2020. But what's really clear with a question polls and every other survey of the race indicted this week is how close the race is in each state. No candidate has a lead higher than the lowest single digit in more than half a dozen states all of which will play a significant role in the Electoral College. But what does that mean? It means we have no idea what the Electoral College results is actually going to look like. A swing of just one to two points in a state, oh, two, could change the race dramatically, completely over the next few weeks. Trump could see his lead in the Midwest evaporate, or Harris could see her collapse in Pennsylvania. The former president could lose control of North Carolina. So, the Senate is a different race. The Democrat path will need to tread to keep the upper house chamber. It's looking more and more difficult by the day. Ah, ah. So it looked like the Democrats gonna might lose the Senate. Who knows about the House and the presidency? So the honeymoon is over for Kamala Harris, the Democrats. This is like I said, they are desperate. They know Kamala Harris is unlikable. Every interview she does, it just gets worse and worse. She's boring. She's organic. She's not original. She doesn't know anything. And like I said, she already said she wouldn't change a thing for the last four and a half years with her and Joe Biden. 
have done. So the, the high cost of living, the possible World War III, the invasion of the migrants of over 20 to 30 million as well at, in our country, she wanted to change a thing. So guys, like I said, they're desperate. They know the gig is up. And at the same time, they may or may not certify a Trump victory. Mm. This seems like war to me. They're going to do whatever they can to keep Donald Trump out. Like I said, guys, even with a Trump victory, even if they certify everything, we have to fight harder than ever. Next year, this time, we will be going through hell in this country, if not the world. Because Trump win, they're going to pull all the stops. They're going to they're going to collapse everything. They're going to cause the Great Depression to collapse, the re fully recession under Trump. They're going to kind of push World War Three or war to a point he can't stop. They're going to push the limits, guys. And, of course, we have illegals here that don't give a damn about our country. They're not going to leave without a fight. We got these damn progressives here whose communist-style leadership that will destroy every anything they get a chance to do. We got a lot of mess trash and mess trash to take out and a lot of mess to clean up here in this country it's going to take more people thinking voting for trump and thinking that's going to be it if you think that vote for trump and that's going to be it and you go back oh everything's gonna be fine you're a fool you we all gonna have to get our hand roll up our sleeve and get our hand dirty to clean up this mess in america that we all helped to build and create without standing up saying something and putting our foot down for most of the progressive liberals going crazy and, and basically aka the double running the muck in our country well guys what do you think guys you think the democrats have aged up to see the party take this election or you think they're desperate as hell they're gonna do whatever they take can to keep trump out this white house even if he wins they won't certify they'll start a war they'll start civil war they'll start a fight and they'll do something here crazy they'll do something but let me know in the comment section, guys. Like, subscribe, share the video, guys. I'm out to the next one. Peace.